Well, hello there, Coffee Time friends. It is Coffee Time for sure. It's me and Mama, John and Mama. Coffee Time with John and Mama. All right, folks. Are we on? Are we... Can you hear us? Thank you all. Thank you all. Hey. Well, that's... I see number... There you go. Hey, Rita Johnson. How are you? Hey, Jason Bryant. Hello. Can you hear me, Jason? Thank you all for the wonderful hearts already. It is 40 degrees here. Ooh, it's cold. And it is snowing. I mean, snowing. Um, not flurrying. It's been rainy and mixed today, but it is rainy, snowy right now. And it's April the 6th? 8th. 8th. So tonight we're having, you guessed it, chili. <laughs> we're having white chicken chili, and this comes in a kit. This is Carol Shelby's white chicken chili kit. You can get these off from uh, Amazon, or you can buy them in the big store, or you can buy them if you have a, a name brand store. You can buy these anywhere. Uh, can't get them here, but we can get them other places. So this is what we're using. If you don't have one of these, never fear. It just comes in these little handy packets, but all it is, is this is mesa flour. I don't even know why you use it except for thickening, but it is corn mesa flour, white bean powder, which consists of salt, onion, garlic, um, some kind of yeast there, cumin, sugar, oregano, bell pepper, cayenne pepper, and that's in dried. So it's just a kit. You could use all this fresh. It wouldn't hurt a thing. Fresh never hurts. But the kit is handy. And it does work really good. Well, thank you for the stars. Uh, y'all are so kind. I'm going to point you down here. This, Y'all know Mama and I will have a ton of leftovers if we're not careful. So all I'm doing is just cutting this piece of chicken up. Well, we need that whole big mount. Well, yeah, Mama, we it's one. This is one breast. So if you, we'll see, but I'm thinking maybe to have plenty. We'll have plenty, but we won't have. I don't care to have a bowl left over, but I hate when we have a, a gallon left over. Exactly. So I'm just crossing it, just going across and back. Now this recipe that's on this box says three cups of water. I've left a cup of strained juice uh, broth in here. So this kettle has a cup of broth in it and Mama's got two more cups of water. You want it poured in there? Yes ma'am. And that is the liquid. So here is the recipe we're going by. It's This says a two pound boneless chicken uh, skinless breast or thigh. Cut into half inch cubes, as you tell I didn't do no half inch cubes. One tablespoon of vegetable or olive oil. We'll put just a drizzle of olive oil. It's got the, it's got the oil in Since it. I'm using the broth and it already has the chicken oil in it, I don't think we'll need the oil. And three cups of water and then the ingredients in this box. Um, but I'm going to add a can of northern beans. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow onion. So this is the one breast. That's a lot of meat for one breast. Go ahead. You don't want it in there? Yeah. Okay. It's a big breast to have that much. Yeah, it's it. Once you cut it up, there's a lot to it. So that's the chicken breast. This is one can of of uh, great northern beans drained. We didn't rinse them. We drained them. And that's going in there. That's extra from the kit, but this is, it said I could put them in here. I'm not completely freaking all the rules. This is the mix of uh, chili powder and um, the cumin. Let me go over here. Tell you, I'll tell you again. It's salt, onion, garlic, uh, some kind of yeast extract, oregano. So all that's in this little pack here. But what I would do if I don't have this pack, and I have made this before without the pack, I just put some, uh, you can buy white chili powder, but I just put chili powder in it, and don't worry about it, whatever. And I have made this before with tomatoes, but this whole pack goes in here. 
and it's just a blend of different spices and what have you. So I'm going to stir that in just to let it start dissolving. We've made this before. I've made this before on here for you all. Um, oh, you can smell them spices. Oh, it smells good. But you can smell the oregano. You can smell the chili. You can smell the cumin. Uh, it's a white chicken chili. You can also add a little taco seasoning to this, but I'm going to leave That's it. That's what it makes me think of. Uh huh. It's got a little bit of a taco flavor to it. Now I'm going to add this half of a yellow medium onion. Here was the original, and I'm going to add about half of it. And I'm just going to coarse chop it here just to get it. Can y'all hear us? Uh, it's cooling off here. Yeah, it's cooled off here all day today. We have been in a cooling trend since before lunch. And uh, every time I step outside today, I say, oh, it's colder. And we had some mix falling around 4 o'clock. It was a very little bit of snow in it, but you could sell some snow. But now, right now, it was just peppering down right before we started. Uh, Mama says it's about quit. It's, hopefully that's what it'll do. I don't think we're going to get no big snowfall, but April the 8th and we're still snowy. Somebody asked me today. What winter are we in? I said, the big long one. <laughs> I said, it's the whippoorwill, red bud, dogwood. Let's all get together and have a family reunion winter. Because it has been winter here for a long time. Now, this is called masa flower. You may say masa flower. And I'm not sure roll this plays except maybe as a thickener. Mom will just stir that in. I was trying to. It don't want to go in. I brought it over here so y'all could see. I'm wanting to get a hot plate. Any suggestions? Hi John and Mama. We've hope you're... Not had one hot plate. We have a hot plate. I may try it. Um, but they have some induction ones. Now this is red cayenne this is cayenne pepper. I'm not going to open this. Uh, we've got cayenne pepper up there in the bottle, don't we? Or just open this. Just open it. Mama says It'll just, be thrown away, probably. I'm not going to use all this because you all know Mama don't like hot. The mozza flour has some kind of flavor in it. Or so something. I'm not even using just a, a wee little bit. And this is green peppers. This is just going to add a little flavor to it. It's not... This is green peppers and jalapenos dried. Uh, so this will add a little bit of heat, but not much. It's not, a, it's not enough, really. It's probably one jalapeno final and a little bit of green pepper. Now this has to simmer for 15 minutes. And we'll top it with cheese. Is this it? That is it, Mama. Let's show. Look at that. Now, I'm going to give you the alternates if you don't I'm have this. Put it on his you want me to put it on? No. Okay. If you don't have this packet, which this packet is great because it's convenient, but if you don't have this, use some chili powder, some uh, cumin. Uh, you could even use some taco seasoning. Put a little bit of garlic in it. Uh, and this cause this has a little bit of oregano, which is good. And you could chop you up a bell pepper and put in there, put a pickled cayenne pepper, put a couple of rings in there, use your own cayenne pepper. You could use a little bit of flour in it to thicken it, or I would just thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch dissolved in cold water. Y'all are crooked. And uh, to put a little thickening in it. So you could make it, and I have made it without the box mix. But if you do have the box mix, or if you want to make this tomorrow, you can get a white chicken chili box mix. We just added one can of northern white beans drained. And that was it. And we're going to have a dollar store for $12. Is that where you can get this? Um, it's windy and cold here in Georgia. We had stuffed bell pepper. I like stuffed bell peppers. 
uh, used to love them, but uh, Francis Phillips, um, but I don't eat the pepper anymore. I don't know. As I got older, I don't like cooked bell pepper. Love raw bell pepper, but I'm not crazy about cooked bell pepper. Now, I like the, uh, that was dried bell pepper, just a little bit for flavor. Uh, if they had a, a bell pepper sprinkle, bell pepper seasoning, I might like that in something. I don't know what it is. I just don't like the cooked bell pepper. I don't like it on pizza. Uh, I would probably like the stuffed bell pepper just to eat the pepper in, just to eat the stuffing outside the, inside the pepper. Thank you for the stars, doll. Uh, a hundred percent in California. I don't know what that was for. Cold here in Alabama also. Robin, have you ever seen me winners chained up together? Hey, Debbie, thank you for those stars. Um, Nola, looks so good and comforting. That's what I was thinking. Mama said, what do you want for supper tonight? And she had named off two or three things. I said, well, what do you want? And she said, I don't know. I want some chili or something. It's cold. That was before it started snowing. I said, well, it's supposed to snow tomorrow, at least. I said, how about some white chicken chili? Because we got some chicken. And she said, I'll put it on right now. So she's cooked the chicken today. Um, now, all she did was the chicken, and she cooked it a lot longer than she had to. Uh, she just put about three or four breasts in there, and she's let them boil today on medium low. And they have boiled for, how long, Mama? Oh, a couple of hours. About three hours because I've been home an hour uh, and she had already put them on earlier. So let's boil them good. I love, I know it's simple and I know there's nothing to it. I love plain old boiled breast. Mama, tell us how you've prepared those today so I don't mess it up. I just put salt. In Come over here, Mama. They can hear you and they want to see you. Salt and pepper and a little butter and boil the chicken so it would be tender and flavorful. It is real flavorful. It's delicious. I love boiled chicken. And you meal preppers out there, let me just tell you, I'm not a meal prepper for the rule. But I'm going to start prepping again because I feel better when I prep and I feel better when I just know what I'm eating. We don't have a lot of variety here, so sometimes, don't throw that away yet, Mama. I might use that tomorrow. Okay. Um, sometimes, Give me that. the Meal prepping is, makes life a lot easier. Uh, but when I did meal prep all the time, I'm almost done gone. She go. I, I would cook um, chicken, boil it just like that, and I would have it. And I could have a different meal every day and never repeat. I would take it just as chicken one day and put it over a thing of instant rice, 90 minute rice, and then Maybe the next day, here comes Maggie. Uh, I would could put a little barbecue sauce with it, stir it around, have barbecue chicken. Uh, I put a little lemon pepper on it, maybe squeeze a little fresh lemon over it, have lemon chicken and maybe a baked potato. Uh, I could take the barbecue and maybe have um, a barbecue chicken sandwich. And uh, maybe the next day, I might just uh, go back to the cooked chicken with broccoli. Uh, and it was good. It was good and it was easy. So that is a good meal prep. There's so many things you can do with it, including making white chicken chili. Uh, so you can always find something to do with that cooked chicken. And then, of course, of course, there's always chicken and dumplings and uh, chicken pot pie or uh, chicken salad. Thank you for those stars. Chicken salad or uh, chicken tacos. Now, um... I'm going to probably eat this. Mama, how are you going to eat yours? In a bowl? I'm probably going to eat this over some nacho chips. Um, and make like chicken chili nachos. Because I have some freshly shredded cheese. Freshly. Right here. It's Italian style, but it's very good. And I'm going to put that over it. And I'll probably crack out some um, um, pickled jalapenos. And put me a few of them on there. Uh, hello, Pauline. How are you? Hey, Susan. Troy Smith, how are you? Mama's wore glasses today. <laughs> Pretty good. She's seen in everything. Have you seen anything new, Mama? No. 
I'm having trouble seeing what. <laughs> having trouble seeing? Yeah. Or there's, I'm not used to wearing them. They're stronger. My eyes is watering and stuff. Your eyes is watering. Well, your eyes is watering. It's, they're crying for relief. Oh. Those are tears of joy, Mama. Your mm -hmm. eyes are saying, look what's out here. We don't have to strain. Mm -hmm. Hope I get used to it. All right. Mama. I've been good. I've been wearing them a lot. A what? A lot. Okay, Mama. I wear mine a lot too. Because I need to see. You've Hi, John and Mama. Ever since the fifth grade. Sounds right? like you make as much stuff out of chicken and. Bubba Cunt does that a shrimp, <laughs> Betty. Uh, who said that? Betty Sue Freeland. I think I did too. I love it, and it is it is like shrimp. In fact, you can use it almost anywhere you could use shrimp. Uh, I love I love cooked chicken, and it is very versatile. Uh, if if I was told you can only cook one thing. And eat it. I said, "Well, let me have the cooked chicken breast because I can do so much with that." I froze y'all up. I had chili dogs and chips cold, windy in Oklahoma, Virginia. We had that a couple weeks ago. We was on a crazy uh, patch the two weeks ago, Mom. Yeah, I guess about. It all started one Saturday when I said, "What are we having for Southern lunch tomorrow, Mama?" She said, you know what I've been wanting? Maybe a hamburger or a hot dog. I said, well, Mama, you, we'll have that. That's what we'll have. Well, the next day, I woke up, and I smelled the most delicious aroma. And Mama had put a pot roast on that night before she went to bed, and I didn't know it. But I smelled it, and I thought, oh, that smells so good. I know what that smell was. So I said, Mama? Are you going to turn this pot roast into hamburgers? She said, absolutely not. You know better. And she said, I'm going to make mashed potatoes and green beans and some rolls. I said, I thought I was having hamburgers. She said, well, I remembered that I had this pot roast, so I went ahead and put it out before I went to bed. So we had a big pot roast Sunday lunch. Well, the next day, me and Mama have the same conversations every day. <laughs> what, what, we we having, what are we having for supper tonight? And um, she said, well, we never did have them hot dogs and hamburgers. And I said, well, you want to have hamburgers? So we ended up with hamburgers on Monday. And then Tuesday night, I said, you want them hot dogs? And she said, well, yeah, let's just have them. <laughs> we then we had that roast left. So we had start, we had ended up with barbecue sandwiches. I said, we're eating like a couple of teenagers whose parents have gone out of town for the week. <laughs> so we really went off the rails. I had trouble with my glasses last year. Who says that? Darla? Uh, them all day, where them all day, he was dizzy and she took back, to, and the lenses were backwards. Well, Darla, that would be bad. Um, yeah. Now, I had a pair of glasses one time that, uh, thank you for those stars. Um, it wasn't the doctor I'm going to now, but they had the prescription. I'm going to say, assume they had the prescription completely wrong, because when I went to another doctor the next year, they said, where did you get these glasses? And I told him, he said, this prescription seems to be backwards to what you need. And I thought, well, you know, I've not had the best year with these glasses. <laughs> so, um, but ever since then, I've had good luck with them. You have to cook... Crop pot Italian beef. It's amazing. Great for leftover pot roast, too. Crop pot Italian beef. So, how do you fix that, Miss? Uh, how long does this have to be? Carrie, 15 minutes. Oh, Just cook that onion good and get them flavors going through there, Mama. There's no set time. It says 15 minutes, but. Uh, Indiana, we are going to get snow tonight. Robin, we beat you. We've got snow right now. We've got we've had snow for an hour. Uh, it's not sticking or anything, but it was 
snowing. Glad to have caught y'all live tonight. Faye, Cole, we're glad to be here. We try to come every night. Uh, we don't have a certain time. You know, life happens, and sometimes you just can't commit to a time if you're doing something every day. But we try to. Sometimes you have other situations come up. We had egg salad sandwiches and pimento cheese in honor of the Masters. Oh, yes, it is the Masters, isn't it? The wonder that sounds good. We will, we'll probably have some egg salad sandwiches maybe Monday. That may be our supper Monday. Mama can show you how she makes her delicious egg salad. And the reason I say that is, uh, not this Monday. It'll be the Monday after Easter. The reason I say that is, Mama will dye Easter eggs. And we'll show you all how Mama dyes them the old-fashioned way. And you know what I hope we have, Mama? I, don't, I bet you don't have them no more. You remember them old wires they used to give us kids? Those hooks that lift Do y'all remember those things? I think I still have, or used to have my hoarder right now. They were like a little hexagon wire or an octagon. That's what you pick your eggs up out of there. And they came up on a little stem with a little circle. And you had to as a kid now. And we had big eggs because we had chickens back then. And you had to put that egg on that wire and then hold it and it was a little top heavy then and dip it in those different colors and then you had to get that colored wet egg off that wire so you inevitably had to touch it you ended up covering now they got fancy things they have got i don't have no fancy things we'll go back they make the them they make a thing now you stick your egg in it and it turns and you take a marker and touch it and it stripes it perfect. Well, I don't have that. You know what? I'd like to have one of them. Just to play with it. It'd just be fun. <laughs> uh, it was 65 degrees in Connecticut today. But heavy rains. Connecticut. That sounds warm. warm. I mean, Illinois has been snow. Oh, Lord. Been snowing off and on all day. Oh. But not sticking. Well, Kelly, did you make you some soup or something? I don't know. I am very much... A weather-prone eater. I like soup when it's cold. I like chili. I like those flavors. But now, like what I'm having tonight with nachos and, and this soup over it, I could eat that in July. It wouldn't matter. It's so good. Uh, sending prayers for friends loss. Geneva, we'll be praying for your friend. I don't know what the loss was, but I will be praying. God knows about it, and that's who matters. Mama, do you like cooking liver and onions or chicken livers? Molly? Donna Jones, she does not like calf liver, but she loves chicken liver. And we will be making those before long, too. But I don't put onions in them. We don't put onions in them. No, I do. Mama don't. Uh, we will be making chicken livers before long. That's one of our uh, things we have on our idea plan in here because Mama's in bottle. Yes, have the the white egg holders. They still oh, do they still come in the kits? Those same little holders. I remember those wires, Patty. They were a mess, weren't they? I've seen now. They've got like yes, you remember there were mess. They've got like little tongs that they can put on there and dip them, and they've got uh, bags they shake them in, and they they come out beautiful. They've, they've gotten plum creative. How you all from uh, Pikeville, Kentucky? Well, Jennifer, you're just up the road. 95 degrees in California. Is that Margaret Ooh, Young? That's where I want to go. Could you stick a little bit in an envelope and mail it to us? It was 65 degrees here in Texas today. Well, Faye Cole, that's not bad. And some bread. Does Mama cook rutabaga? No. Sweet potatoes. We do sweet potatoes. But not really. I love liver and onions. Susie, I did too. I don't. Dad liked it, and every once in a while, we would take a few chicken livers and I'd chop up onions in them. I've got some calf liver up there. Oh, love chicken livers. Uh, love them so much. Oh, I do too. I've got some calf liver up here, but Mama said, oh, I don't want that. So I may fix it for us one night, and we'll fix her something else. I love coloring Easter eggs. Michelle, uh, um, 
I've always loved coloring them. Mama loves coloring them. It's a tradition. Even during the pandemic, these two years, there's not been a year went by that there's not a little uh, arrangement of Easter eggs on the table. Have to change this. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, have to change this. Sounds good. Okay. I don't know what that was, but thank you. It says, did you ever melt those plastic sleeves on eggs? Oh, Pamela, yeah. that was fancy. We did that. Were they called shrinkadinks? Am I making that up? No, there's a shrinkadinks you put in the oven, I think. But we used to put them in that hot water. And put it we, yeah, you would take this little plastic sleeve that was about that wide, and you'd stick your egg up in it, it would be way too big. And then you had something, and you would stick, stick that down in, in hot, hot water, water, and it would just melt. And it would put that beautiful thing yeah. on there. But let me tell you something about them little boogers. I liked them because they were pretty and they were different. But have you ever tried to eat one of them? <laughs> Mm. And if you took them outside, they would eventually break, and the eggs it would be, a crushed egg would be inside that plastic. But it was hard as a kid to open them up and eat them. But to make them, they were fun. Mama, your hair looks very nice today. Oh, thank you. Uh, just bought some chicken gizzards and hearts to fry, Michelle. I've never never done, done the gizzards. I'd like to. I'd like to know how to make them. I'd like to even taste one. Maggie O'Dell, I love livers and enjoy colored Easter eggs. Uh, really enjoy them. Well, thank you, Maggie. Um, hey, Elvis, how are you? Uh, Rhonda Wright, I won't eat anything liver. No way. Rhonda, it's one of those things. You either like it or you love it. Uh, I mean, you either hate it or you love it. You don't like it. Um, I've never really met him that says, I like them okay, but I, you know, I eat them. People who say, ooh, I love them, or ooh, I don't want no part of them. So, uh, we colored on eggs with crayons before. And, uh, yeah, um, we wrote our name. Yes, Dan. And did you ever do um, white crayons on white eggs? And you had to be real careful. You couldn't hardly see it at all. But you could put your name or your initials or draw a bunny rabbit with a white crayon on a white egg. And then you'd dip it in color and the color wouldn't take where you had the crayon. So you would have these eggs with these mystery messages on them or a mystery picture. And then you would dip it in there and you'd see it when you popped it out. Did y'all ever do that? Hi, John and Mama from Michigan. Hey, Caitlin. Hope you're having a nice evening. We are. We're having a great evening. I have never tried liver. Kendra, you might not like it the first time. It, sometimes it depends on... It can be an acquired taste, and it depends on who fixes your livers. You don't like quite chicken chili, Barbara? It's kind of a acquired... Brenda, it's a kind of an acquired taste, too. It's, it's very spicy, very... Um, Kind of like a, a nachos. Uh, I think a plate. A little plate. Uh, yeah, because we won't need many. Um, but um, you did the white crayons, Nola. Uh, it wasn't that neat as a kid. That was a big deal. Liver's good for you. Mama can tell you about how she got to like liver and love chicken liver. Uh, it didn't start out that way, so maybe you're like Mama, some of y'all. Boy, you're bragging, bringing up some of those best childhood Easter memories. Um, yes, I know, I love them, um, Brenda. And I, did you all did you all do this? Did you get the TV stands that were metal, and, and they had a flower, and there was like two or three different patterns, and Mama would set those up in the kitchen. She'd put an old towel down. And we had the, um, I don't know what they were called, solo, I guess. They were the little clear uh, cups, and Mama would save them for years. We would uh, we would have a stack of them. She'd wash them up, and that was the Easter egg dyeing uh, cups. And they were just those little plastic ones that you, you know, like for punch. And she'd line those up, and the first thing she would say was, Now, you dye, um, put one egg in each cup. 
a couple of times before you all start mixing it and messing it up. I want some pretty eggs. So we knew for the first dozen or two, they had to be one color, one egg, all the way across. And then she would say, okay, yens can, yens can be creative now. And that was when we would take a yellow egg and half dip it in green and we'd take purple and half dip it in blue and we'd have, we'd have our little creative eggs in. And then one little kid, always, usually me, would <laughs> yes. take an egg through the whole lineup and dip it in every one. I'm not end up with a purpley brown, green, ugly egg. I loved it. I don't like gizzards, but I like livers. Catherine, I don't know if I like gizzards. Never had them. Have you made white chicken chili? This is white chicken chili. Do you ever have liver and backbone soup? No, buddy, I haven't. Okay, let's look over here. It don't look a lot different since it did when y'all last seen it. But it is a little thicker. The peppers are thicker. And the peppers are de undehydrated. There's those white northern beans. See, this is just about the right amount. Uh, three cups. And this this is a good amount for me and Mama. And we'll have maybe a drop left for tomorrow, a bowl. But tonight, we'll have plenty. And we won't have a bunch of leftovers. Do you care? I know you're totally against it. But can you hand me them pickled jalapenos? And get you some sour cream. I got sour cream. Oh, you're ahead of the game, Mama, as usual. What was I thinking? So, this is what... This are you having the same thing I'm having? Sliced jalapeno. Now, there's another jar. Mm. Are you having what I'm having, or are you having a bowl? I'm going to have a few chips. Okay, so tonight, on my white chicken chili, here's what I'm making. I'm going to take the... The tortilla chips. We keep all of our tortillas in this little Tupperware handy. Look how pretty that is. We know if we got chips or not, and that way they're handy to get to. I'm going to put me a little bit of chips here. Mom, I'm going to let you make yours because I know you won't like what I do. Mama just spilled blueberries. Y'all hear that? You seen a bunch of little. Blueberries rolling across the floor. This is <laughs> this is live TV, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all have a recipe for crushed blueberries? Oh, cheap mine, yeah, Oh, I did crush it. You did, Mama. I stepped right on it. Oh my goodness, I've got a mess to clean up. What? You get those, we can still use those. Oh, give me my lap. <laughs> get that camera off of me. I don't have it on you, Mama. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I know I should have put them, put them in something different. Yeah, they should have been in a... Mark my lesson. There you go. This is... I'm going to drain them off just a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and put them right over my chips. Maggie can eat a blueberry, can't she? Can she have blueberries? So this is the white chicken chili, folks. It's delicious. I bought a whole case of that stuff, and by case, I think there was eight of them in it. I'll give a couple of them away to people because I say, oh, take this and try it. Gonna put a little bit of this white Italian cheese right on top. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream right on top of that now you can use cheddar you can use whatever you want here's the pickles see mama it's on my thought really because i could not find that other jar of pickles that's how come i spent blueberries they must not be open yeah they are mama because there's only three in here and i was saving this juice in case i wanted to add it to something but this is great i will pull these three out waste not won't not Put them jalapenos right on top of there. And look, there is a meal fit for me. Deliciousness. Folks, when you spill a whole carton of blueberries, you just got to pick them up. 
<laughs> Mama, I think you're out of the danger zone right there. You're fine. Let's see. I froze y'all up. Bless her heart. That's she fine. is so sweet. I say so. You're that's fine, Mama. Come on. Get your plate. Mama's very you know how she is. You all know her. She won't rest. I have to get on pizza. You got three more blueberries. <laughs> Do you want me to fix your plate, Mama? No, I'll fix it. Then I get straightened up there. She don't trust me. Well, come on, Mama. We'll bless it and then you can have fix to clean it. Clean up that that I squished, put all this weight on. That looks delicious. It is going to be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I still don't. I'm looking head. for a crushed blueberry recipe. <laughs> you drop them in the floor and then you just step back and you step up. <laughs> Thank you for those stars. <laughs> Go ahead and fix yours, Mama. Then we'll bless it. We ain't in no hurry. I ain't going to eat without you anyway. Oh, that's all right. A southern gentleman would never eat before the ladies at the table. No, oh, stop. <laughs> Do you see this? This is what she's calling fixing a plate. I'm fixing it. Hurry and me. You're embarrassed. No, I don't. <laughs> Mama. Johnny. Don't make me embarrass you in front of your friends. You already have. Give me that. This is the right because why does John fix Mama's plate? She won't fix one if I don't. I had it fixed. He's so mean. Put you some. Here, let me get your cheese. Let me get your cheese. <laughs> Johnny, I had food. I don't know. Did she have anything? Now, this is a tiny, tiny little amount. Look. <sighs> Put your sour cream on there, Mama. Okay. And I know you don't want no jalapenos. No, I sure don't. A little cheese in the sour cream. <laughs> it's my accident. Don't throw them in. Maggie may eat those blueberries, all except the one I crushed. Well, you only had two in there. Oh, there's three or four over there. Huh. Well, I hope they're okay for her. It says, what does it say? No sense. No sense in crying over spilt blueberries. <laughs> that's right. Joseph, that's exactly right. We won't cry over them. I've laughed ever since I've dropped them. <laughs> oh, let's pray, Mama. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies. And Lord, we just ask you to be with each and every person, be with each and every prayer request, those spoken and unspoken, dear Lord. You know them all. And we just ask for you to answer in your will and your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mama, try that. See what you think. Is it hot? It's maybe a little stove warm, but it mm -hmm. should be. It's a little stove warm. Is it spice warm, Mama? Mm -hmm. No. What do you think? Mm. It's fast for one. No, it's not too spicy. I don't know how come I got the camera all messed up tonight. Yours will be with jalapeno. I think we come from this angle usually. Is this the way we usually are, folks? <laughs> it seems familiar. <laughs> Mama, you look cute. John, you look handsome. Well, thank you, Mary. Mm. Now, that's how we use the art, Mama. That's more like it. Oh. I'm going to try this, folks. You know, we're honest with you. If it ain't right, it ain't right. That's delicious, Mama. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. The white chicken chili has got just enough of everything. It's not too hot. That little bit of cayenne didn't hurt it. Those northern beans kind of uh, made it a little milder. The chicken is wonderful. It's one of my favorite go-tos. It's something like this with nachos. And uh, we enjoy it. 
Now, Mama's a little funny about spicy hot stuff, and as she loves nachos, and she likes um, salsa, if salsa. it's not too hot. Mild, mild. Mm -hmm. It has to be mild. But she'll eat all that good stuff. No jalapenos, even though I put a little jalapenos in there, but it didn't hurt it. Did it, Mom? No. So y'all try this. I'm gonna go turn on the fireplace. If you had to put all those, what was it, red cayenne? That red cayenne. It might have made it too hot. It may have, but it probably wouldn't have made it extremely hot. It may have been a little hot for you, but I wouldn't do that, Mama, because I'm trying. I want you to eat good. Even though you try to get one chip crumbled up and put in the middle of your plate. That was more than one chip. <laughs> Mama, they seen it. Well, I know it was more than one. It was about the equivalent of one chip all crumbled up, Mama. Mm. Now, you can eat this in a bowl with crackers, or you can eat it um, in a burrito, or you can eat it in a bowl, like I done said, or this here. All those ways are good ways. Of enjoying this beautiful meal. Um, this is something we go to a lot of times when we don't really know, we don't really want to cook, but it's not. It was most deliberate because I thought about it earlier. I thought, hmm, that'd be so good. You know, when it starts snowing, I thought it'd be even better. Mm. Hey, Miss Nancy Johnson, how are you? Hey, Rosetta. What are you all eating tonight? Anything good going out there? Comfort food? Maybe eating beef stew or chili. Mm, mm, mm. I'll tell you another one of mine and Mama's favorite go-tos. I don't know if we've ever done it on here. And it seems like we do it a lot on Sunday nights and I don't know why. But um, we love oatmeal and cinnamon toast for supper. And that's a wonderful comfort food. Just mama cooks oatmeal, put a little sugar in it, a little butter, and then make a big old pan of cinnamon toast in the oven. And it's delicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, it's not been long ago, we were sitting in there and it was on a Sunday. Um reason it's on Sunday, we usually have such big lunches. lunches. That's true. And I looked over at Mama and said, you know what I like to have? And she said, what? And I said, some oatmeal and cinnamon toast. She said, you won't believe this. She said, I was just thinking the same <laughs> thing. Boy, some oatmeal would be good. And I said, well, let's have some. So we fixed this some oatmeal. Mama fixed it. And some uh, cinnamon toast. toast. It was like eating Thanksgiving dinner. That's when stuff's good, when you're wanting it. I don't know about you all. If I get to craving it, anything. I can eat all kinds of stuff and it don't, it don't satisfy my craving. Like a good oatmeal or soup. If I was craving this today. You could have had homemade vegetable soup and I would have loved it, but it still wouldn't have been what I wanted. But look at this. This is delicious. Can y'all see it? It's a little soupy. <laughs> like I said, you could put more flour in it probably and make it less soupy. But the flavor is good in it. But you could come up with your own flavor profile just with your ingredients out of your cabinet. Um, and it's very good. Angela Britt says... We went to Daryl's. Mm. We like Daryl's. Shared a plate of chicken, ribs, and shrimp. Oh, yeah, we like to do that, too. Baked beans. You know, if you go to some of those places, they give you enough food. You can share easily. Someone else is saying something here. John, you and Mama are reverse. Rose now when you were little she was making me eat plates of 
for have you eat y'all? Uh, yeah, that happens, Regina. I can't hardly see. I'm too far. Just a little bit. These new glasses didn't make these words any easier to see. Uh, I don't know what has been said here. I think they're. That could be a troll. I don't know. Nola will find you. If you're out there, you will troll. She'll, she'll find y'all. Says, I missed the beginning. What all did you put in the white chicken chili? Okay. Mama didn't get to this box. Or she had already had it thrown away. I started out with this Carol Shelby's original Texas brand white chicken chili kit. You can fix it hot or you can fix it mild. And what the recipe is, is two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts or thighs. You cut them into cubes. I just cut them up. One tablespoon of vegetable or olive oil. I didn't use either because I used the broth off the cooked chicken. And three cups of water. And I used two cups of water and one cup of broth. And um, that's it. And I put a, a can of um, northern beans and we just drained them didn't rinse them and I put a half of a yellow onion in there just for a little bit of extra flavor and the ingredients in there is chick is chili cumin oregano and some garlic powder it says and then it had dehydrated bell pepper and cayenne pepper flakes and black pepper was in that mix and that was it. So I mean, there's not a lot in it, but it's very flavorful. And then I, just a little bit of red pepper and a little bit of it said jalapeno pepper dehydrated and a little bit of, of uh, bell pepper. Cayenne pepper that we didn't use, but a part of the pack. We just used a parcel, but you could use the whole pack if you wanted to. Uh, but just sprinkle you some cayenne in there out of your shaker. And it turned out wonderful. And it's easy. Uh, but now, Mama did spend about three hours cooking the chicken. Uh, but you can cook it quicker. You can put it in the microwave. You can put it in the, and with one of our Tupperware stack cookers, or you can just put it in a pot and boil it for till it's done, and that would work just the same as slow cooking it for three hours. But uh, that's why Mama always does cook chicken. Put it on, let it sit for three, let it boil for about three hours. Not hard boil, but just simmer, and it makes the best chicken. You put a little butter in it, a little salt and pepper, and then you have that. Chicken. Now, you made, what, four or five breasts? We use one tonight. We'll use one for something else. Four. Uh -huh. Now, we'll, I will probably take this tomorrow for lunch, and uh, it'll be it'll be thicker, and I might put it on uh, flour tortillas and roll it up and eat it like a burrito with a little bit of sour cream, a little bit more cheese. You know, that'd be a good lunch. Um, but it's quick. It's easy. It's a one-meal wonder. And I love those. I love one pot wonders. I love casseroles. Um, all that stuff is just quick and easy. I have froze everybody up. Uh -oh. But not the bad way. Just that I touched it. Do your glasses have their transition lenses? Yes, both of them do. And both of them uh, turn, you know, into sunglasses outside. I can't keep up with sunglasses and glasses. So I had to have them pour the transition dark. Uh, pork roast, pinto beans, chili tomato. Oh, bud white, that sounds delicious. We've had icy sleet. Yeah, that's what we've had. Ice and sleet and snow all evening. Can we get diced chicken at Walmart? I think you can. You can get canned chicken too, but this is not. This is uh, just a breast that mama fixed. Tuna casserole and chicken pot pie. We love chicken pot pie. Mama does not like tuna casserole. Mama don't like any kind of fish much, fry, uh, catfish. But she, like, the, what do they call it? Mac and tuna or whatever? I can't eat hot tuna and stuff I can't eat. Mm -hmm. I can eat cold tuna salad sometimes. She will eat tuna salad, but no hot. She's not going to have hot. Ribeye and pork chop. Oh, I love that. Uh -huh. Mama's not going to do the tuna fish and macaroni cheese. And I like it. Mama don't. Do you have a good corn casserole recipe? We sure do, Becky. Um, I love corn casserole. Are we having it anytime soon, Mama? 
Not that I know of. Ain't talked about. We'll try to fix that maybe. Um, corn casserole is delicious. Good evening from Oklahoma. Juanita, how's the Oklahoma weather? Uh, made pimento cheese and had grilled pimento cheese sandwiches. Bonnie, we love that. Bonnie Weekly, those are we like grilled pimento cheese sandwiches. If you if you ever want to dress up a hamburger, put you some pimento cheese on it instead of American just a slice. It makes the best hamburgers. Pimento cheese hamburgers are delicious. You don't like hot tuna either, April. Your mama could eat together. Now I like cold tuna. Right out of the can. Uh, we just had pizza tonight. Uh, didn't want to cook. Donna, we had that last Friday. Was it Friday, Mama? No, we had it Wednesday night. Wednesday night. I, started, I know I brought pizza one day. Uh, Jessica, heavy transition lenses also. He'll like them. He won't like them in the beginning. Um, and getting up on curbs, you got to learn that all over. Because it, it changes a little bit, that transition line in there. But the, your vision sight is like in a V. Like this. So you have to get used to that. And once you get used to that, you're fine. And it just comes natural to you. So, uh, he will like them. If he don't like them now, hang on. He will like them. That's what I've told Mama several times. I love pimento cheese on hamburgers. Donna, isn't it the best? It is the best. Um, can only eat tuna out of the can, no mayo. I like it that way on crackers. Just tuna on crackers. Cold and rainy, Kathy. I think everybody's having that. Um, we have barbecue meatloaf. Oh, I love barbecue meatloaf. We had some of that um, when we ate out at lunch yesterday. Um, it has cooled down a lot. Rosetta, thank you for the stars. Um, we're going to have a cook along. Probably it'll be the week after Easter because it's, it's going to be a minute. But uh, we will do that. But. Um, when we cook tomorrow, it's not a cook along, but uh, we're gonna give away some some um, cookbooks while I show y'all how I make cowboy coleslaw. Um, and the cookbooks shipped yesterday, which means we should have cookbooks Monday or Tuesday. So they said they'd be here early, and boy, they were right. They came. They're coming early, early. I was expecting them by the third week, and they're all going to be here Monday or Tuesday. And uh, we'll have plenty of cookbooks. We'll try to remember to order before the gap again, but this wasn't very bad. You just ran out, what, first this week? Uh, well, last of last week. Last. So it was just one week. That's not bad at all. Mama, you want another chip? No, I've still got one or two. I've just been eating the chips. Yeah, okay, Mama. You want something else to eat? No, thank you. What would you give this, Mama? It's really good. You really liked it, even though you just ate half a chip of it? I ate all the half a chip. She tried to eat a half a chip. She tried to eat a half a chip. It's really good, the chili. And it is I good. I mean, the chicken's real good. And, and it wasn't too much in there. No. Mm-mm-mm. Very tasty. I believe I like mine better to dip my chips in it. Oh. Because I don't like the soggy chips. I like. Oh, them. I didn't think about that, Mama. I know you don't like soggy chips. So what you need to do is get you a bowl. Did you see me spit a piece of chip? Don't talk after you've eaten chip. Sorry. It just landed on top. You need to get you a bowl, put the hot soup in it, put some cheese on it, put a little sour cream and make you a little dip, and then you can dip it. Dip my chips in. We'll remember that for next mom. For next time, mama. Sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cold and snowy, Cheryl. Yep, that's what we're having too. 
I uh, do not see anyone behind them. Do y'all see somebody behind us? Uh oh. <laughs> I hope not. I see. What did that say? Scary. A man in the room behind you missed it. Cindy Lou. <laughs> This isn't. A, this isn't a paranormal show. <laughs> sure. I mean, there was somebody in that room. <laughs> <laughs> it was a man. She said, "Mama." Mm -mm. I I don't think we have anybody, but I'm not gonna say for sure. Um, we have a trial. Angela, we have a bunch of them a lot of days. Mama needs flour tortillas torn up and add the soup. Probably, yeah. Someone said a man in the room behind you. Donna Pittman. What do you look like? Do you folks... Cranberry orange raisin for Easter. Hmm. We do have a cranberry orange relish that we make at uh, Christmas. Because it's red and bright. We don't usually make it at Easter. But Mama did make one last year, I think, at Easter, which was a loose one in a bowl. This other one is a molded one with Knott's gelatin. I saw a man's face in the room. Is that another person? Is yeah. Seen? How many people have seen a man behind us? It could be your dad checking in on y'all. Well, you know what? Um, if he looked like Johnny. Ron Bailey. Or, is that arguing in? Every once in a while, I think he's in the pantry throwing stuff. Because every once in a while, something will just roll off. <laughs> I don't see any man. Huh. I may be LT's for dinner. Oh, I love Mama's glasses. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Look like an old woman, sure enough, now. You better, better check before you and Mama go in there. Cheryl, I don't think there is anybody in there. There's only one way in, one way out. They have um, to come right behind us. Well, thank you, Miss Judy. Hmm... Now, tell us. Excuse me. Was this just you or the man, Mama? That was me. I hit a fork with my foot. Whew. Mama's making noises. Y'all got me thinking. Maybe it was a reflection. Now, crazy car crash videos. That's what we'll go with. <laughs> Maggie would be barking if the. Yes, she would, Tina. If there was a man in there. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. If there's anything in there, she would take a fit. Maybe a guardian angel. It could have been a guardian angel. It says, good they evening, John and Mama. Probably come because I got... <laughs> Maybe it was a blueberry angel. angel. <laughs> oh, Mama's beautiful looking, beautiful in her glasses. Thank y'all. <laughs> I don't see anyone, but don't mean it isn't there. That's what I say to you, Kendra. Lynn. Why do people need attention like that? I don't. You're talking about the trolls. Dad's watching over you. You better be good. Yeah. Well, if he, if 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 angels could come back and tell you what to do, he would. Yes, he would. John's getting spooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Am I gonna have to sit and hold your hand tonight? Like you no, I to, think I'll be alright, Mama. After you, why you have to do Maggie when they're shooting or far, far cracking? I don't see anybody in there, Mama. It might be the soups. I'm drawing it. When this video's over, I'll make Mama go in there and see what's in there. <laughs> I don't care one bit to go in there. I don't care. Love Mama's glasses. Thank you, uh, Marjorie. <laughs> I think they sued her. I mean, 
I think she looks like she's always worn glasses with that. I'm used to seeing her in glasses all the time because she runs around here all the time with some There's little high speculars on. There's three or four prior in here. And usually she's taking them off and putting them on, taking them off, putting them on. It's just hard to get used to wearing them all the time. And I... Mama, you'll get to, you'll go to bed and they'll be on your face. Or you'll be looking for them and they'll be on your face. It'll be a long time before that happens. <laughs> the glasses make you look younger, Cindy well, said. Thank you. Cindy, thank you. I need something to help me. <laughs> thank you, Miss Angie. You have a great night, too. That's we're going to say good night to everybody. That's and right. We're going to. Um, Find a Tupperware bowl, put this right in the refrigerator, and we'll eat that again. Not too many leftovers. And um, it'll be good to go to bed. It's snowing here, so maybe sit in front of the fireplace, maybe watch a movie. That's bed. one of my favorite bed things. Bed is what I want to do. Uh, Mama might go to bed. I might watch a movie. Um, that's one of my favorite. You know, people say, oh, I hate winter. There are things about cold weather and winter that are wonderful. Well, like comfort foods and like sitting in front of a fireplace or just sitting in front of a heater or whatever you have and enjoying a good movie uh i like the lifetime movies um that come on at christmas time you know they, oh, it's just yeah. something about them have you heard of a big mac salad uh i have i have heard of big mac salad i think it would be oh you lost, lost everybody i think it would be good i haven't ever tried one but i think it would be good uh, no, maybe it tastes like hamburger right now. Well, Mama, you like hamburger. Not from the restaurants. Well, Mama, you would use your own hamburger meat and your own at Thousand Island. And it would just be hamburger, Thousand Island, pickles, and, and a big... Do y'all see that look? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Winter is your favorite, Susan? I love it, too. Uh, did you eat brownies with Mary G? In the... What's up? <laughs> I don't know what Mary G is. Is that something else? I've not had any brownies, if that was a question for me. <laughs> I enjoy sitting down and watching you and Mama while you have your dinner. Well, thank you. We enjoy having <laughs> dinner with y'all. Uh, Brenda, we enjoy it. I look in there and don't know who I'm looking at. It's strange. Where? In <laughs> that I, room? Oh, in here with my glasses on. Oh. Um, oh, I can't see. <laughs> that looks better, don't it? <laughs> Mama, those glasses, really, they blend in very well. Yeah. I mean, these are, they're tortoise shell. See? They look darker sometimes, but they're tortoise. Look how strong they are. <laughs> <laughs> Mama has got a big close up of you. Um, That's why they are getting so hard to get used to. Uh, do you see a difference now with the mouth, how your eyes feel, and then when you put them back on? <laughs> uh, Mary Chi is pot. I felt loud. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know that, Rosetta, but that I figured that brownie out a little bit. What was it? Uh, Mary G, she said it was pot. Pot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just said pot. You don't say those <laughs> words out loud. That's a southern thing, especially southern ladies. You don't, you don't say certain words out loud like all the other words. Like you would say, you know, marriage is pot. You say it, you you get your facial expressions just right. But you put emphasis on it, but you don't make any volume. So instead of saying pot, you say pot. <laughs> That's like in the South, too. You can be naked and, and be just fine. And nobody will think a thing about it. Naked. <laughs> but if you say naked, oh, they were naked. That's something really bad. 
he was naked. Yeah, well, you don't never say it out loud, though. <laughs> but it's just all in the way you do say it, you know. So, and then, too, there is the old bless their hearts. The South folks, we think if you take bless their hearts on the end, of, you can he's say anything. About anything. <laughs> like, he's... He's crazy. Bless, Bless his, heart. his heart. That's right. <laughs> it's like you're you're you know getting forgiveness for saying something bad or, or she's just lazy. Bless, bless her, her heart. heart. <laughs> so if you bless their heart, you can say about whatever you want to. And in your your other uh, your other southern women sitting around will will be okay with it. And they won't, you know. They won't say nothing bad about you because oh, you bless their heart. that brownie, whatever you said? Mary, Mary G. Jane. Mary G. Jane. Or Mary Jane, yeah. What is it? What is it? It's pot, Mama. Just plain old pot that they smoke. <laughs> what kind of pots do you think there is, Mama? I don't know. That's the reason I was asking you. Just plain old, I think, Mama. Plain old. No, we don't have that here for sure. <laughs> We barely get Tylenol. We can't, Mama wouldn't have nothing. Uh, okay, folks. We're going to say good night now. Yeah, we That's better. another Southern thing. We say good night, goodbye all a lot. You know. Uh, well, you all watch the Waltons. They all have to say good night to everybody in the whole household. Uh, we, we do that kind of thing. You know, when we're leaving, it's at four... Four goodbyes, at least, in the South. And, you know, and then you get trailed out to the car. And then normally, if, if it's in the summertime, you will... Uh, lean get, on the car and talk. You'll lean on the car a while. But then, um, the lady of the house will inevitably find a bush or a plant. And she'll break you off a piece of it and wrap it in a wet paper towel so you can take it home with you. <laughs> So you're going to get four goodbyes and a, and a potted plant <laughs> oh, in the South. And you don't say thank you for that flower or it'll die. Uh, you just say, oh, I'll try to keep it going. Or you're just too sweet. Or I'd love to have that, but if you say thank you, it'll die. So you don't never say thank you for a flower. If a Southern lady gives you a plant or even a breaking on a plant, you don't thank them for it. It's bad luck. It kind of goes against the grain when you don't say thank you for something. But you just... And then a lot of Southern ladies, like Mama, would say, I, I ain't allowed to tell you thank you for it, but if I could, I would. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> just to let you know, she appreciates it. And she wants to say thank you if it was permitted by the rules. But she would never do it because she don't want it to die. <laughs> Let's say good night. Let's say good night, Mama said. Y'all have Mama, a God bless you. So. Y'all have a, a wonderful night and have a great tomorrow, even if it is snowing where you're at. Enjoy your day and make just make some memories and have a little bit of laughter. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Bye.